say to 1960s. This ain't the Atlanta y'all used to know. This Democrats are about to find out if this moment has become a movement. We really need the Senate in order to ensure that crucial legislation can get through. Georgia voters will determine which party controls the U.S. Senate. Special elections will be held here in January for the state's two seats that are up for grabs. I know you're going to be on side with me as we push forward to keep the Senate in Republican hands. It may come down to this seat. If Democrats win both open seats, there will be a 50-50 split in the Senate, which would essentially give the party control, as incoming Vice President Kamala Harris would play the role of tiebreaker. We're incredibly excited about the work that's been done on the ground for the last decade to bring us to this point, and we're so excited to be going blue. Stacey Abrams mobilized hundreds of thousands of voters ahead of the presidential election and is vowing to continue her work for the Senate races, though Democrats admit it's an uphill battle. When it comes to the Senate, I feel confident, even though there is still work to be done. Um, I feel like after a lot of the people on the other side see how we've won tonight, they're going to come really hard January 5th. President-elect Joe Biden will have a better chance at implementing his agenda if Democrats control the Senate. If not, his achievements will be determined by how much cooperation he can get from Republicans. And to make progress, we have to stop treating our opponents as our enemies. Uh, look, I, I, uh, I congratulate him, but I'm not going to uh, put aside conservative principles. We're going to fight for the things that we believe in. Republicans are going to fight hard to win these seats, making the argument Republicans need to maintain control of the Senate in order to keep the Biden administration in check. Ian. Katie Simpson in Atlanta tonight.